We're next up is Deputy Superintendent Scott Jones will invite you to the table and any staff that you want to bring, please introduce them. We're going to go over the monthly budget report. And then on, on deck, we will have uh, um, UHSAA. We have Rob Cuff here, so we'll be moving, moving right along. So Deputy Superintendent Jones, uh, you can turn that you. other mic on too if you need to. Uh, yeah, I Deputy Superintendent of Operations, Scott Jones. This is the monthly budget report to the State Board of Education. Uh, as of this current time period, the USBE remains financially solvent and able to meet all of its obligations and commitments uh, up, upwards and through to the end of the fiscal year, state fiscal year uh, 2019. Uh, there's a little bit of a reversal in the posting of the um, monthly budget report. 5.1 is the discretionary funds report and 5.2 is the monthly budget report. Typically we do the monthly budget report first. So we'll just go, if it's okay with the chair, we'll just go to 5.2 first this time. Sorry about the, okay. we just flipped them is all. So okay. if I can cover that. That would be okay, first. thank okay. you. Uh, with 5.2, um, in a couple of ways that you as board members receive these, is the, um, well, it, obviously by, by my coming forward to you and, and presenting the monthly budget report by section, by fund status is uh, one way, but also Deborah has sent or emailed to you uh, your w ability to access or drill down into the report. Uh, the public can drill down as well. Is that set up yet? No? No, okay. We're, we're, we're still working on getting it set up with state finance then. Um, say again? They, we have a meeting today with them. Uh, so if there's any questions or concerns, um, Chair, I'll take those now. Uh, you know, just on 5.2, the monthly budget report. Vice Chair Brittany, comments? Yeah, just a uh, quick question just for my understanding of the table. Um, there's a few things that are on this budget report from prior fiscal years, 16, 17. Is that because of the remaining balance that those yes. still show up? Okay. Yeah, if I may, Chair, yes, uh, to please. answer that question. Yeah, we felt it's important to make sure you know just how much, and this will be a discussion on the carry forward balances tomorrow during the Finance Committee. But we want to ensure that you're all seeing and that the public will have the opportunity to see how much is being carried forward from year to year, especially where the cycles are two-year grant programs, things like that. So. Deputy Superintendent Jones, I'm not seeing any other questions okay. or comments. Sir, then so we'll move to 5.1, uh, the discretionary funds report. Uh, with 5.1, uh, the key here, the key takeaways for you are the remaining balances, again, which is up in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, if you recall last month, we went into some descriptions of these balances, uh, then also what you've, uh, what we've accomplished, uh, you know, by way of the uh, projects or programs uh, that you see listed in the main body of this report. Uh, tomorrow with the state funds, uh, the FML, um, I'll be asking the finance committee members, uh, uh, we've got some ideas, staff has some ideas for execution of these dollars. Uh, going forward. Uh, it may also come up later on in your agenda when we talk about um, the school fees task force agenda item and some some way ahead there, you know, as far as what we can do. So we have some options here with these remaining balances. Uh, so subject to any questions or concerns, that concludes the briefing on the monthly budget report and the discretionary funds report. So any questions on the funds discretionary funds report? Any questions? I'm seeing none. Okay. Thank you. 